Hello and welcome, fellow Wasteland survivors. I'm Dean, a.k.a. Nasty Bones, and thanks for joining me today back at Abernathy Farms, where we're building the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. But we are working on things around it right now. And what we're going to be doing today in this video is doing some work on the greenhouse. I need to get the settlers back to work. My happiness is dropping a little bit. And I've got a pretty good idea where to put it that's completely out of the way. Now what I've already done is constructed uh, what I'm going to be using. We're going to group select it and take it over to where we're going to place it. Now it's kind of hard to build anything right here in this area, so I thought that this would be an excellent place to put our greenhouse. Plus, the gate that's there is only scrappable. It's part of the original build. Now, we do have gates that are exactly the same, but I still didn't want to take it out. I wanted to try to use it as part of the build. And I'm just going to sit here and keep lining this up the best I can. And yeah, I think we got it. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do is get our power in. It's pretty simple. Now, the building of Abernathy Farms is only four walls wide, but I've got three full-length conduits, a half a conduit, and then I've got a, a, a splitter, like conduit piece where you can connect the wire, and then one sticking out the wall. What we're going to be doing is putting one of our turrets that we made in the last video out there, and I'll need a way to power it. Plus, I need a way to bring power over to it and here is the connector and great yeah I'll be able to connect power up to it plus we'll be able to power our greenhouse okay now I've got two floors out and I've group selected them please make sure that you've got the boards on the floor running in the direction that's facing you or away from you not side to side we're going to need them as guides. Next, I'm going to put a, another couple of floors down and put these posts that we can find in the fence section on it. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just using this to line these posts up nice and straight. Uh, it's a way that we can get them exactly where I need them. Next thing I'm going to do is get these pretty cool little uh, screen floors out from the barn section. Group select them, bring them over to our posts. Now I'm going to use the two end posts to line this up nice and straight. And once I've got it about where I think it's perfect, then I'll go ahead and place it where I'd like. Now I want some of the posts to stick out. Now you could make that where it's more flush at the top and, you know, no posts sticking out. Now bring it over to the build. I'll use the wall in front of us to, you know, line it up nice and straight. Get it in where I think that I want it. And once it turns green, go ahead and place it down. Okay, my next idea I've never done before. So, you know, this is the first time for me. What I've done is I've pulled out a couple of shitters. I'm going to group select it and sink it into the ground a little bit. Then I'm going to take out some electrical conduits and place them on the ground inside of it. There's actually no collision with the uh, holding tank of this shitter. And I'll grab the next one, put it down. Now, we could have used the uh, regular DLC electrical conduits. These ones are actually from... Uh, the vault tech calling when you've completed that. Now I've group selected the whole thing and I'm going to bring it over to our floor. And now you can see why we ran the boards the direction we did. It gives us a place or a guide to help us line these boxes up nice and straight. Okay, next we'll get back into the electrical section and get some more of these uh, conduits that we got from vault tech calling. Uh, these ones are hanging from the ceiling, and I'm just going to take some time and line them up with the boxes down on the floor. Now, these are shitters. They're considered as like seats or chairs, so I do get a few uh, settlers once in a while coming to use them. And there's a couple of guys there waiting for their turn. 
And yeah, that really looks good. Um, if we can get some plants up there, that's going to turn out excellent. Plus, you know, our little uh, table that we made is looking really good too. Well, we're ready to put some plants onto our planters, but I was a dumbass and picked all of the plants this morning. So we need to uh, waste some time and let them regrow back. I'll explain why a little bit later in the video. So what I thought we'd do is work on some of the front of the Abernathy farmhouse. Also, try to build it up to our greenhouse and work that gate in. Now, if you take a couple of quarter floors and group select them, you can actually fill that little gap in on the floor above the stairs. And I'll just put a couple of more floors in here, extending it out. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do, so I'm just kind of experimenting here a little bit. Uh, and, you know, we'll just see how it turns out. Okay, I think this is what we're going to go with. Take a quick look, make sure our junky railings are in there nice and tight and there's no gaps. I'm um, thinking maybe a little spot to put some chairs and tables so the uh, guys that are working the uh, gardens have a little place to sit and rest. Also looks like we got a little gap there between the floor and the ground, so I'll probably need to put some floors in there that have the wooden posts so it looks like it's supported. Okay, the next thing we want to do is use these junky walls and build a wall. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use these by now or do this, but I'll still explain real quick why we're doing it. If you take three or more carpets, lay them out, you can actually set one of these junk walls on it and place it anywhere that you want. Now, I'm using a concrete pillar and group selecting the first ca uh, carpet with it. And the reason is, is I can move it up and down, move the wall up and down to match the other walls. Now that I've got the junky wall built, uh, I'm going to bring it over and place it where I'd like it to be. Now, I did come here and look this over quite a bit before I grabbed the wall to place it where I want it. Uh, it just helps me line it up. And yeah, it looks good, but I didn't want it this high. I forgot to sink it down into the ground. And I think it'll just look a lot better if we have it about the height of our junky railings. So, had to tear it all out, go rebuild it, and bring it back. Now I've got it sunk down, and we're lining it back up. And we're just going to get it in here the best that we can. It's real close to the edge, so it's, it's pretty tough. But just spend your time, and I think you'll get it. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so much happier with that sunk down into the ground. It looks a lot better. It's not all bulky.
Okay, Clarabelle is the Abernathy family cow. She's already here when you, uh, you know, align with Abernathy. And no matter what you do, you cannot make Clarabelle move anywhere other than where she is. So I have no choice to m but to make this the corral or her pen. So I thought I'd make a little uh, shelter, a little cover for her. And eh, I don't know. It looks okay, but we'll leave it up there for now, and I might change that later. Okay, the next thing that I need to do is I just put in a post up against the junk uh, fence there. And I am just keep adjusting it until I can get the fence to run straight. Once I do, I just go ahead and put a cor uh, another post on it, and we can continue the fence in an angle. But I've got another sweet idea. And I've never done this before, so uh, once again... We're just going to test it out and see how it works. Now, I've laid out a couple of floors, and I've got these uh, fence post things or railings. I think they're like hitches for horses from uh, the uh, Nuka World DLC. It's, uh, it's what you get when you complete uh, the, the, the Dry Rock Gulch, I think is what it is. And I'm placing these out, and I'm just using the floors to line them up straight. Once I've got them up straight, I'm going to bring them over to these half barn walls. And I'm going to line them up here the best I can. Now, I can't see it real well, and it is off. But I get lucky, and I can actually adjust the half a wall. And everything's lined up nice and perfect. Now, since the... Uh, little posts kind of stick out on the side. I need something to fill it in. And once again, I'll just grab a few of these wooden posts out of the uh, fence section, bring them over, group select them with a concrete pillar so I can lift them up and down, and just basically put them in there and line them up. Now it looks like that runs all the way down the sides. Yeah, I can think of another hundred things I could use this design for. Okay, by now you may have guessed what I'm trying to do. That's right, mangers. A place for them to stick their head through and eat. So now the only question is, will it work? And it did right off the bat. Clarabelle is eating through it. That's awesome. Now, if we get more cows, we our Brahmin, we can go ahead and put them in there and they'll eat out of the other troughs. And actually, as I've been building... Clarabelle's been eating out of the other troughs as well. So, let's just finish off the rest of our pen. Yeah, I'm really liking that. And I'm actually starting to warm up to Clarabelle's little uh, cover, too. Okay, crops have spawned in. We are now ready to put some crops on our planters. And while I do this, let me explain a little bit about what I discovered while trying to do it. If you take a crop that doesn't have a yield on it, in other words, it's not ready to pick, you can move it around and put them wherever you want. But sometime throughout the day, it'll spawn somewhere in the uh, build. I was finding plants two and three stories in the air, clear over by, uh, you know, just all over the place. So what I did is I tested it with them ready to pick and it actually worked now 
keep this in mind even though we're group selecting these crops and bringing them over they still have a collision area to them in other words like watermelons you know how big of an area you gotta have to put a watermelon down even group selecting it you'll still have that same sized uh, collision area I originally wanted to put watermelons on our table that we built but I couldn't get them close enough after hours of trying the collision area just wouldn't go away so I'm actually using plants that have a more generous collision area to them like the corn or uh, carrots that we just put up and these taro plants and I'll just take a second and align them adjust them up there and boom they drop right in now at the point that I'm making this video it's actually been numerous days since I've done this and these plants are still here so I'm gonna say the only way to do this is if the crop is ready to be yielded now I don't know and I haven't experimented yet if you pick the crop if it will do the same thing or actually stay there okay now my next idea is these planters I originally wanted corn up on the top planters but because of the collision area I couldn't get them in there that's why we used carrots and the tatos so I'm gonna try and put them in these little planter plant things that we got um, actually if you don't have these these are from a magazine and I'm sorry I don't remember exactly which location gets it I think it's the water treatment plant that you clear out for gray garden and you know they're actually working place the plant in the planter group select the planter bring it over putting it on the table so it looks like it's setting you know on the table okay let's do a couple of more I think we'll do a carrot once again just bring it over line it up the best you can on the planter once you think you got it place it down now all you have to do is just regroup select your uh, concrete pillar take it over where you'd like to and once you can find a spot that it's not colliding you can go ahead and place it down. You know, this is so no sweet. Count on the minute, man. I cannot believe how nice that looks. I've decorated a little bit, just a few more things out. Get some bags of fertilizer and a few things. Boy, this will really look like a greenhouse.
Okay, let's take yes. a quick look at what we've gotten done so far today before we go. I do have six moot fruit, mutt fruit, however you say it, over there. Uh, that's not where it'll stay. Those plants will be randomly placed throughout the settlement hey, once it's completed. Help give it a little anyway, bit of extra, say, you know, detail and effect. Uh, the greenhouse is decorated up a little bit. I've got a few things out. Kind of gives it a little life. Uh, the greenhouse is producing 18 food right now with the six moot fruit outside we can actually produce enough food for 24 settlers I probably will never have more than 24 settlers here so it'll be enough food for everybody um, it's kind of tight in here but it's actually not too bad uh, it's fairly pickable and uh, you know things just look really good uh, I did try to get some fertilizer out, but they're in bottles. So I'm going to need to go look around and try to find some sacks and bring in. That'll look better. Get some metal buckets out, some shovels, and, you know, this will really look awesome. It'll be a nice extra touch of, you know, how this farm is going to look at the end. Plus, where, we're, where we've built this, we've got those metal circular tanks, which even gives it more of a better look. Kind of like, you know, if they're water tanks or something like that. Maybe fertilizer tanks. Yes? All right, as you guys all know, I don't use mods in my build, but I'm sure you've seen a couple of things and you guys have said to yourself, hey, uh, bones, you can't build them, them are mods. Well, no, they're not. This is my junk pile. When I'm out, in the, out and about, cruising around in the wasteland, when I see something, I pack it back here. Uh, I've got a pretty good little stash going. A lot of this came from Wicked Shipping, which is a little dungeon here on the side of Abernathy Farms. Uh, you know, just packed all this stuff here, and I feel that when you add these things in, it really, you know, just adds to the detail of your settlement and your build. Even got an oxygen tank. You know, we can't make any of this stuff, and it'll only make our settlement look cooler. So if you spend a little extra time, you can just really make some beautiful things. Okay, everybody. Well, I hope this video was informative. I know it gave me another million ideas. Also, thank you. Thank you for coming and spending your precious time with me today. I really appreciate it. And just like always, until next time, please stay safe and peace.